sharpening All right. the feathers. Good evening, everybody. You we are bringing you the Central Esports Conference Finals between UTSA and UT El Paso. Yes, those are the matchups tonight. Uh, we're getting into the things really quick. Angry. And we appear to be having some slight technical I won't difficulties. But we will get past them shortly, I'm sure. Alright, so taking a look at these bands so far, uh, we see some high priority picks like the Kaisa and the Swain, the Zaya being taken off in the first phase. And uh, Gangplank picked up for Slant Lore for UTEP. I mean, like kleptomancy and parlay, definitely fun to, to mess around with right now. Um, and Trundle getting picked up for UTSA on yeah, the other side. Of the board. I expect that to be Jungle Trundle, but it definitely could be flexed around the map. I know some top laners in this conference like to play Trundle. But... I think we've had at least one game with Trundle support, so... Ooh, Trundle support would be fun too. I do like Trundle. Um, in any lane that you can throw him in. Uh, I have I have fiddled with him as a support before. His, his pillar his pillar is, is more fun to play around with than, than you'd imagine. Oh yeah, it's a good time. And we see the cane for uh, UTEP come out to counter the Trundle. Not a super orthodox pick. Uh, I'm not familiar with Magnus's champion pool, however. It might just be what he's comfortable with. Let's see. And then, you know, safe, safe Aurelia pickup. I uh, feel like she's really strong right now after her rework. Oh, yeah, I agree. She is a late game terror. I don't think Gameplay will be no able to use her past a certain point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh no, definitely not. And last night, last night I got to watch a really fun, uh, fun matchup of her two matches in the WEC finals where she just went completely bonkers. So, uh, maybe, maybe get to see that again. Um, more bands coming out. Lots of AD carry bands here mm -hmm. for, uh, UTSA. Okay. Just trying to thin out the pool as, as much as possible to, to make that matchup against Caitlyn a little bit more of a nightmare. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see the Ash come out. To the briny deep. You saw Tristana and Open and stuff like that too. Yeah, of course. Oh. And, uh, uh, support Ash? Hovering the Ash, perhaps anticipating the pick. Some, uh, some mind games there? Yeah, perhaps. Don't think they're gonna play Kale. And that Morgana would make a whole lot more sense than the Duloc in there. I mean, you know, there's a little bit of a merit to support Kale, right? She has a heal and she has a shield, so it's just like Morgana. Work. Yeah. Yeah, it could work. She gives you a speed boost. Yeah. Like she has an AoE, like like basically the same champion. I, I guess they are related. Yeah, okay, so we have the Jin come out. Okay, there's there's the ADC. And I guess I guess Jin doesn't well, I don't know. There's Aurelia. How do you get away from Aurelia? Yeah, I'm not feeling too good about that pick. If he gets caught by anyone, he's he's just going to die. There's not a whole lot of peel outside of the thresh for him. Mm hmm he's separated from his support, he's uh, probably donezo. Yeah, that's uh, gets caught by a binding and then all of a sudden he's forced to be separated from a trundle pillar. Yep. Um, yeah, no, that's that's a bunch of bad news. Uh, and the Galio makes... Ari and Galio finish him out. 
Yeah, they need a little bit more of a front line while Aurelia is off split pushing, so that definitely makes sense. Hmm. Oh, both supports are taking Ignite. Going to be trying to kill each other in that 2v2 lane. Yeah, and I don't... I don't know if I would like an exhaust on uh, UTSA side just because they do have. I I I feel like they have a couple of valid targets that could take the exhaust. Yeah, I think it would be fine on uh, either of these. Uh, can you confirm? Do you see that Tarsier has heal on your client as well? Uh, yeah. Right now, right now he's running heal on Aurelia. So. That's uh, certainly interesting. Oh, and change to teleport at the last second. Yeah, just just more mind games. Yeah. I, I was actually uh, interested to see how that would work without teleport. Oh, you know, maybe maybe it would have been spell like Aurelia, but then that that also leads no conqueror. To... No, yeah, exactly. So leads her with she'd have to run spell book. Hmm. So, based on these comps and what you know about these teams, who who would you say would take game one? Hmm. I feel like I feel like that's a loaded question because you're gonna know more about these teams than I do right now. So, without knowing anything about these teams, I uh, I kind of like UTSA's comp more. Um, just because I really feel scared for re the Reclaimer. Um, mm -hmm. He's, he's going to have to play that. He's going to have to play Jin really kind of, you know, just position pretty close to perfectly to stay alive. Yeah, that's going to be super critical. I would definitely also give it to UTSA just based on these comps. Like, if you look, UTEP does not have a front line uh, whatsoever, actually. Mm -hmm. So if, if UTSA catches out Jin, or uh, even just a standard team fight, UTSA will probably win, just by virtue of having a front line. Yeah, uh, and they kind of with the Galio pick and Morgana as well. Um, they sort of have a little bit of a barrier of defense for Caitlyn or anybody if they do get jumped on to get assassinated by Kane or Gangplank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not quite that four tank plus Caitlyn comp we've seen in the professional leagues and stuff, but it's not too far either. There's lots of peel, lots of protection for that Caitlyn here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. But I also, also the, the like no exhausts on either side kind of has me a little worried too because that that's sort of a, a good buffer of defense from Kane. Um, I don't know so much if it's a good buffer for Gangplank, but it but it would slow it would slow Ra down a little bit if she spirit rushed in. Um, I actually really don't like the exhaust, or rather lack of exhaust from Avada Kedavra, just because you know how. Often, are you going to kill Caitlyn Morgana as Jin Thresh? Probably, <sighs> probably not super often. I say not as an ADC main. It's a, uh, it's it's a it's a indirect counter to subjugate for the later game. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. There for you go. I got you. My lack of game knowledge. Thank you so much. Oh, that's that's exactly what that was right there. Is is me trying to show you up, and so that so that every other time that I mess up for the rest of this cast, you can bring it out. Absolutely. Oh I can't wait. I'm excited. Um, what do you what do you think? You seeing anything uh, mastery wise that that jumps out at you? Uh, you know. Just looking, uh, not really. You got Conquer on Aurelia. Uh, press the attack on Trundle is fine for Jungle Trundle, I think. Uh, 
the electrocute on Ari is a little bit interesting, actually, because this is the reworked Ari with the uh, new passive. So I've been seeing people take phase rush with that just to kind of stack onto it. But uh, I think Thor just wants to deal a little more damage. Mm -hmm. Well, no night to like finish things off. So mm -hmm. I don't know how much he's going to be killing Galio in lane anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, it's definitely it's definitely intended to pop. I guess I I don't know Morgana and Caitlyn, the the two squishier targets on mm -hmm. on the other team, but the rest of them, as far as targets you want to assassinate, eh? Yeah. Are, are you going to be able to? Probably, probably not. <laughs> Like of course, they, all, all the things we've been saying haven't been accounting for things like individual skill. Sometimes a player who's just straight up better can turn these disadvantageous matchups into winning lanes. So we'll have to see how that goes. All true, all true. As we, uh, we, as we have finish up getting our loading in. Yeah, finally. <laughs> yeah, we could have Jin just pop off, get double kill after double kill in bot lane, and roll up into mid lane and just run it down and end the game in 20 minutes. That is true. Or, uh, or we could, you know, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen to you. Yeah, probably not. And that's why I would give it to UTSA, like, like we said earlier. It'll be over in 17 minutes because two of those double kills you thought of will be triples. Ah, yes. Yeah. Uh, looks like we have just standard, no invades yet, anyway. <laughs> just both teams playing safe. Trundle, uh, Trundle trolling around. Yeah, UTSA is a little more. Footwork. Yeah, UTSA is a little more concentrated. Looks like they might have been trying to go for the UTEP blue buff there, but. Up not to. Well, I, I, that probably wouldn't have worked out in their favor. Their, ooh, favor. Favor either. Probably not. Uh, good Morgana binding could net a kill, but if Thresh got there in time with Flay or something, could definitely turn it right back around. And uh, we get a very boring first minute and a half. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, that, that's not too big for the viruses. You get the traditional jungle starts. Yeah. I think if one of these teams starts falling behind in the series, we might see some wacky early plays out of desperation. But right now, I think both teams are comfortable enough to play some. Early. <laughs> So, uh, hmm. Some group. Morgana taking a little bit of damage there after she lands her, uh, binding onto Thresh. Yep, yeah, just supports trading. Uh, up in the top lane, we see the power of Conqueror come through. Slant Lord taking a lot of damage from Tarsier. It's a really good, uh, keystone right now. Yeah, it really is. Aurelia herself is super strong. Oh, the hook. And that's what I was talking about. That, that black shield is gonna get a lot of value. Ooh. Oh, yikes. Magnus is gonna play. Yeah, he's gonna get forced to flash out really good uh, Pillar of Filth from Depression to uh, kind of stop Kane in his tracks. And in the mid lane, we have Galio going all in. On to Thor. Not Ooh. gonna quite get him, leave him with about a hundred health. He does have that heal though. He does. He probably knew Galio just didn't have any more damage to put down onto him, so didn't panic and use that. My David uses bait, but it doesn't look like anybody's there to help him out. Uh, Magnus is gonna get collapsed on by pressure here. Oh, oh wow, and he really just stun lands. To first blood for Tarsier and for UTSA. 
That is definitely not a target that you want to have the first blood on either. No, um, the sheep. Nor was that double buffs? Oh, was yes. that was that, double mm -hmm. buffs? Oh no! I would not want to be Slant Lord right now. He is probably going to have a very bad time of it. It's almost time to cry. Yeah. Game's not over, of course, after that, but uh, that Aurelia is going to come online just that much more quickly, and that's something that I don't think UTEP's comp can really deal with. Yeah, uh... Uh, Aurelia with a really early Trinity Force is a nightmare to handle. Um, and that's just with with basically free farming lane and that first blood bonus. It just it happens that much faster. And if you, if you look at the top lane, she's just uh, Tarshir's got a pushed in. Slime Lord's gonna lose a fair amount of CS, including the prized cannon. Movement. I think he's gonna get back in time for, or well, I guess he did lose the game. Anyway. Five minutes, creeps there. Uh, oh wow! And in the mid lane, we uh kind of missed it. I'm gonna let you carry. Almost died to a game. Magnus and mm -hmm. got away with about 20 HP. Looks like he did flash. So. And he's gonna recall and teleport back into lane. Yep. Act like nothing happened. Just push it in. And uh, he's actually got a pretty significant lead over the Ari already. Over 10 CS, which this early is. Oh man. Just Caitlyn. And then a lot of uh, a lot of aggression for free. And uh, up in the top lane, we have Aurelia going for a play, backing uh, off, taking a lot of minion damage. Oh, Groot accidentally landing onto the reclaimer. Um, but yeah, Tarsia didn't really respect that previous minion well enough. But... Yeah, here he goes again though, Ooh. and he does pick up the kill. So I guess it doesn't matter if you can just do that the next minion wave. Yeah, Maximum Magnus is here though. Looks like he's trying something. But Tarsier will just walk away. All these pillars are just so good right now. Yeah. UTSA knows they're, knows they're stronger. They know where uh, UTEP's jungler is. So they know that they are okay to execute the bot lane play. And... I have to think they're probably just going to get that first turret there. Yeah. Um, contaminated ground is going to help Tron to hold along with his attack speed. All three of them just going to secure that for Caitlyn. Yep. Yeah, giving over the money. full solo gold, yeah. That'll be almost a 900 gold bead for Caitlyn over that gym. And overall, 2,000 for UTSA at the 7 minute mark. Yeah, Tarsier going for another kill, perhaps. It's a little damage down on the slant lore. Oh, looks like she's going for the uh, Hydra first. Or whichever, whichever one can see in my eyes. Uh, we got a play in the mid lane. Looks like I'm gonna let you carry his. Just going to use his immense Galio tankiness to live for a very long time, but ultimately get taken down by Thor. <laughs> that was a very long gank. Also used Thresh's Ignite there from a Vada Ah, yes. Because Ari doesn't have one to cast. Right, still hanging on to that heal. Hasn't needed to use it just yet, but uh, UTEP gets on the board with that, and they do get it onto their mid lane carry, so that's a bright spot for them, and it looks like they're trying to shut down Tarsier up here. Oh, and awesome. in the bot lane, hello I'm Hank. Wow, a uh, lot happening on the map all at once. Uh, 
Okay, uh, one for one on the cross map play there. <laughs> I ain't barely getting like two two members of uh one member of each team, I guess, getting out with uh by the skin of their team. Yeah, that's what it looked like. And Tarshir did get shut down up in the top lane, so that's Gold super impactful. Teleport back though, trying to go for the play on the Magnus. I'm like carry this of the Galliol is coming in. The Trundle with Tarsier will take down the Kane once again. Looks like they might be. Oh no. Just Tarsier sticking. has double buffs again. Wow. <laughs> oh no. If I'm Slant Lord right now, I'm probably flaming Magnus. Are you sure if you're Slant Lord right now, you're not a little slanted? Ooh. Ooh. Little, little tilted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Avatic Zopper trying to make it happen in the mid lane again. But... One quick easy tip on how to get hit by the turret. Yes? Shadowy figure kind of sidestepping that, uh. W3 Jin. Oh no, Slant Lord. Yeah, he's not having a good time. Tarshir's just playing with his food at this point, I think. <laughs> Thor is up there trying to help, but probably won't have too much impact. Magnus dodges the binding. Hellawan Magnus does get Ace in the hole. Ooh! He gets Some away just Good now. damage coming out by Thor. Yeah. Oh yeah, looks like UTEP has had some close calls, but they are hanging in there. If we take a look at the gold. Got pretty much the same as it was about five minutes ago. A little over 2,000 gold each, but well, I guess you could say. Just slant lord, well. Slant Lord greeted back into lane with a, uh, with a stun. However, Tarshir does take, I believe, two turret shots for his trouble, so... He's already pretty much back up in full, though. Yeah. Is it full? Yeah. We did have that bit, though. Going for another play, but we have a play in the mid lane. Depression getting the pillar oh, on Savari, followed by the binding, will get the kill. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Magnus and Slantlord will get the kill down onto Tarsier, but not before Tarsier takes down Slantlord. Like, the Aurelia damage is just. Not that. Yeah, he's at the point where he can 1v2. And Kane and Gameplay just. They can kill her, but it costs one of their lives. Yeah, the dragon going over to uh, UTSA. So, yep. I guess that's not gonna. I guess that'll help Tarsier out in the, the two one department. Yeah, help him go in even faster, I think. The landing. The binding lands onto a Vada Kedavra. Will get taken down by depression, and they are diving with the Galio. We will slap down Jin with another auto attack. Magnus will also go down. Depression picking up his third kill of the game. Slant Lord is here trying to pick up the pieces, but there aren't that many pieces to pick up here. Oh, Thor trying to pick something up. But... Trying, but the Black Shield yeah. denies it. Man, that just, that was, that all went to, uh, went nowhere, went nowhere good. Yeah, Tarsier's taking that top lane turret, it will go down right now. We've got a 5k gold lead now for UTSA, that's pretty huge. Yeah, that was a, uh, that was a 3 for, 3 for no swing. Yeah, plus and the tower. turret, and... yeah. And a little bit just before that, they got that Drake, so... Big... Good stuff happening for UTSA. Yeah. 
Looking at the top lane again, we've got an over 30 CS differential up there. Not to mention the kills. Slant Lord picked up that kill. He's trying to stay in the game. Oh no. Then here we go. I think Tarsier's going to win this, honestly. Nope. Oh, wait, oh no, Magnus was there. Okay. Uh, down, uh, getting caught up a little bit. Looks no. like oh, trying to keep going, the flash comes through. I think my client might be a little delayed. You can you can fast forward it. It's okay. You'll catch up. Nothing nothing quite happened from that. Uh the claimant is dropping his ultimate out to try and finish off Claw and Hank, but depression blocks the fourth shot. And the binding. Um, wow. Oh no, the claimant. Reclaimed. Yeah, he will be reclaimed by the base fountain. Oh, I'm gonna let you carry. He goes in. Looks like he is trying to carry himself. And UTSA will oh. be able to get a lot of damage under that tower. Tarsier is being taken down by the turret shots. Great. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna let you carry into a big knockup. That's a good ultimate. Yeah, that came ultimate will Ooh. take down! Oh my god! Maximum Magnus! Oh. It's three kills before he's being taken down himself. So, there's a really good ultimate now, looking back on it. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think that's quite enough to get UTEP back in the game, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Oh. Yeah. Man. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of UTEP to take on the map at the moment, so we have to settle for pushing some waves. Maybe some damage. We might be able to take that bottom line turret since it's there. Huh. Just that insta double kill when he came out of the side. Yeah, he almost, he very nearly had a quadra there. Yeah, just wasn't, we didn't quite have the reach to catch up to Morgana. Just, when you think about it, come on, Kane, just take your, take your scythe and swing a little further. Yeah, for she, real. She didn't even, she didn't even need to get hit that bad. She was so absolute. She had about 200 health or something like that, I think. No, it was less than that. It was less than that. Let's see. See what else we got going on? Just a little bit of a uh, little bit of probing and, and poking about, trying to find people. Yep, Caitlyn's tickling Magnus just a little bit with some rapid fire cannon shots. As they work on finishing, a, well, as UTSA works on taking down that big tower. Uh, so I don't know, Flag. What role do you main when you play League? Uh. I just kind of play everything. I would say my best role is support. I've been playing a lot of top lane recently, though. Okay, so you see bot lane builds, you pay attention to them. Um, I almost never see Caitlyn's build rapid fire cannon as the first seal item. Mm -hmm. I think static shows a lot more common. Is that, do you think, like, that's just because she's so ahead, or uh, just a I personal think... thing? I don't know. I I don't I that might that might be more of a, a personal thing, but it definitely helps out with with getting her headshot or even any damage in onto oh, no. onto the team fight. Looking unfavorable actually for UTSA so far. Yeah, they, they lost uh, depression too quickly as Magnus is trying to do it more. Yeah, uh, more going in, trying to get something, trying to get hello on okay. Tarshir going in. Trying to get something back. Magnus goes in and gets taken down by Tarshir. Oh, and that ace in the hole will not quite land. But they will end up picking up Avada Kedavra and Thor. I'm gonna let you carry still going. Oh, oh, the fourth bullet. The binding. Oh my god. Hello, I'm Hank. Still going for it. This so what I was going to say about about Rapid Fire Cannon is it- Oh, boy! Uh, it, <laughs> there's the trap and he is dead. Yeah. Peace for UTSA. 
So it does it does give Hank the range to stay very far back with Caitlyn already in her ridiculous auto range and even stay out of uh, Magnus's uh, or Slant Lord's threat range um, at all. And standing standing that far back and finally coming in at the right moment, uh, you saw right there, just just completely tears up the team fight. Yeah, just paid dividends for them, uh, and it got them the second dragon in the yeah. Infernal Drake landing over onto their side. Yeah, wow. Except for that one slip up uh, in the bot lane where Magnus picked up those kills, UTSA is looking pretty firmly in control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, like. It uh, I mean, she's already done. She's already done with the Infinity Ember now, anyways, from the advantage that she gained with the Rapid Fire Cannon. Yeah, full items worth of advantage over June. A little more than that, actually. Let's see. So we have, as far as lane assignments, it looks like UTSA is still trying to, to look for picks and uh, force a play down around the lot, even though they're seeing him. Figures flash. Very nice from him. I'm glad to see UTSA trying to push that top side. That's that in mid is where they need to be. Sending relatively a lot of resources down bot. It looks like. Oh no, the claimer. Oh wow, he's going to be taken down very easily. Arse here with I'm a letting carry coming oh. in. Might be able to pick up Slant Lord. Will do so. So two for one there, and UTSA will be able to push that top lane tower down pretty easily with all those different headshots. Caitlyn, Caitlyn now, like, just with the Infinity Edge, and, I don't know, she had that finished around 19 minutes. Uh, so just, huge, huge power spike for her. I, I haven't really looked to see where Jin is in items right now. He does he's have about his one Infinity and a half Edge. Items. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like he's going into lethality for some reason. I don't know if... He just wants to be more lethal. Uh, <laughs> I, Thor I so. getting caught out. Yeah, looks like wildly caught out here, trying to link up back with his team, and Depression does, will give up the chase. Does rush over to that lantern. Yep. The lantern of safety. So I think at this point, UTSA, uh, you know, barring any Massive flubs, they, they should be able to close this out. Um, they're doing what they need to right now. They're setting up in that bottom jungle, they're setting up a mid push while Tarsier pushes the bottom lane. They've got UTEP all bottled up in their little corner of the base. Climb well, Hank padding their uh their damage to jungle minion stat by hitting by hitting that chicken that was resetting. Yeah, many, many times. Yeah, UTSA just everything all about you at UTEP's jungle. I'm gonna let you carry those charms, Slant Lord. Forced to use his uh, scurvy. Yep. Yeah, Orange and nice. everything was okay. Mm -hmm. So, one thing UTEP has going for them right now, they have that big way of pushing in top lane. Looks like Hank might be going to respond to that. Yeah. So there's a small window where UTEP might be able to try something while UTSA's AD carry is out of commission, dealing with that wave. Well, but it also looks like I'm gonna let you carry is gonna let Caitlyn finish, but he has the best <laughs> top lane clearing abilities oh, of all wow. time. All time. I think that makes a lot more sense, but... Uh... Tank was probably saying, "Just let me have it. Let me get to. Four, <laughs> let me get. Him. Let me get the full build before 30 minutes." <laughs> oh man, he's already over. At the three yeah. item. Like, yeah, Torsier's looking like he's in some trouble here. Yeah. Play the box. Oh no! Hey. Man, the claimers forced to flash. 
but uh, probably not much more than that. Tarshir oh. just walking away. But UTSA is just doing the Baron while three people are busy with Tarsier. Oh, I'm getting taken low by Slaymore. Flashes in to get the last shots. Depression picks up the kill. Hunting for more. Yeah. I'm gonna let you carry grabs that. And the ace in the hole takes down Ari and looks like they're gonna run back to the Baron. Which with Reclaimer recalling. Or well, it's too far away to do much. I don't know if that would have worked out. I guess that would have worked out a little better for twice here if they were completely needed the flash as they intended to. Oh, I I almost thought Avada was going to steal the Baron there with that hook. Yeah. That would have been game changer. Not I've quite. Seen it happen before. Yeah. But... Poor Reclaimer got caught out with his attempt to steal as well by a uh, by shadowy figure and was ignited. Um. That yeah. that seems to be all she used. She didn't she didn't ult him. She just kind of used her kit and and ignite to to burn him down. Yeah. It's, it's looking pretty grim for UTEP here. And coming into this, they were the first seed into playoffs. They were undefeated until UTSA took them down during the regular season in week seven at the very end. And it looks like they will lose at least one game in this final best game between the two teams. As the third dragon falls over to, uh, to UTSA. Yeah. UTEP just... I think at this point, you just gotta rely on UTSA making some big mistake, because... There's, there's just not a whole lot else you can do with this comp they have. They try to force a team fight, then they just get run over if they have no fun one. Oop, the hook, but it lands on depression. Probably not the target you want to hit with. Yeah, and even if it had hit Hello on Pink, I mean, there wasn't really anyone there to follow up on it. Yeah, that Baron Cannon minion will just slap down that mid lane defender turret. Quaver oh, trying something, will get depression super low. Oh no, speaking of like. <sighs> yeah, I mean, just completely decimating two members of the Yeah. Um, as they work on finishing the end. Oh yeah, no. It's like they're just gonna go for the finish and these Torchier took out uh, the Rekane there. Yep, so they're just going for style points, padding the KDAs here. They will pick up Slantmore here, I believe. Yep, and that will complete the ace. Yes, but the other good games are coming out. Yep. The GG well played's come out. And UTSA leads the series 1 to 0.